This is part 48 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to add custom data to a state in Angular. To add custom data to a state, we use data property. In the example right here, we are adding some custom data to our home state using the data property. Notice the value for the data property is a JavaScript object. At the moment, this JavaScript object has got two properties, custom data 1 and custom data 2. As you can see, the values are home state custom data 1 and home state custom data 2. Along the same lines, we are also adding some custom data to our courses state. So first, let's add this custom data. Let's flip to Visual Studio. First, let's add some custom data to our home state. For that, I'm going to use the data property. The value for this is going to be a JavaScript object. So the first property is going to be custom data one, and the value for this is going to be home state custom data one. Similarly, let's add another property. The name of the property here is going to be custom data 2 and the value is going to be home state custom data 2. Along the same lines, let's also add some custom data to our course state. The values are going to change slightly. For custom data 1, the value is going to be course state custom data 1 and for custom data 2 property, the value is going to be course state custom data 2. Now, this custom data is available in all the controller functions by default. Now, what we want to do is retrieve this custom data from the home controller function and then display this custom data on the home view. So let's go to our home controller function. Now, to read the custom data, we are going to use the state service. So let's inject that into our controller function. Now I'm going to expose properties for the view. So this dot, I'm going to call this home custom data one. And now we want to read home state custom data. So I'm going to use the state service. And then I'm going to use the current property of the state service, which is going to return us the current state. And if you look at our home state, we're using data property to expose that custom data. So on the current property, I'm going to use that data property. And then the name of our property is custom data one. So we are accessing home state custom data from the home controller function. So when we use the current property, it's going to return us the current state, which is nothing but the home state. And then on that, we use the data property and then custom data one, which is the name of the custom data property um, within that JavaScript object. So let's do the same thing for custom data two property. And here the property is going to be custom data two. Now, from the same home controller function, I also want to access courses state custom data. And we do that slightly differently. So let's make a copy of it. And what I'm going to do is change the property name here for the view. I'm going to call it courses custom data one. And when I use the current property on the state service, it's going to return us the current state that is the home state. But this time we want courses state custom data. To do that, we use a different function, and that is get function. And to this function, we pass the name of the state that we want. And we want courses state. So this is going to return us the courses state. And on that, we use the data property and then the name of the property, custom data one. So let's do the same thing for custom data two. So here, the property name is going to be courses custom data two. and the custom data two property is custom data two. All right, so all these properties, all these full properties should be available in the view. So let's go to our home view, home.html, and let's use two field sets to display home state custom data and courses state custom data. So I'm going to use a field set here. Let's use a legend, and the legend for this is going to be home. And first we want to display custom data one. And we are going to use the binding expression. Now, since we are using controller as syntax, we have to use home controller, home CTRL dot, and then the name of the property that we have exposed. The property that we have exposed is home custom data one. So that's what we paste here. Let's include an HTML break. 
and then custom data too. So that field set is going to display home state custom data. Let's include another field set which will display courses state custom data. So I'm going to name this courses and custom data one. And if you look at the name of the property here, it is courses custom data one. So let's copy and paste that right here. And let's paste it here as well and change the property name courses custom data too. All right, let's save all these changes. Now, when we reload this view, we should see custom state data. So first we see home state custom data, and then we see in another field set courses state custom data. So to access state custom data from its own controller, so in our case, to access in our home state custom data from home controller function we have used the current property of the state service and then dot data and then the custom property name and to access state custom data from a different controller in our example we try to access um, courses state custom data from home controller function and we did that by using the get function on the state service we specify the name of the state and then we use the data property and then the custom property name and here is that example which we have just seen. And finally, to display the custom state data on the view, this is the code that we have written. Thank you for listening and have a great day.